Yo, what is gay YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. Today we are going to be doing episode 5 of Sleeper Sunday, the series where I take a sleeper card from the previous week's content and basically show off why they are really good and how they could potentially make your lineup for a very, very cheap price. And I think a phenomenal example of a sleeper card is a guy like this Diamond Tracy McGrady. This card came out in the Enshrined set um, last Friday. His player his um card art is absolutely amazing by the way this card just like looks so cool just want to point that out real quickly but um i think he's a really really good card i think he's a perfect example of what a sleeper is he's going for like nine thousand mt right now and as we hop into his stats in just a second y'all will see how good of a card this card is because he is truly an elite elite card and um yeah i'm excited to use him so if before we hop into the video if you have it make sure you hit that subscribe button we just hit 1400 subscribers which want to say a huge thank you to for the, all the recent support on to 1500 if you'll have it make sure you hit that subscribe button it's free you can unsubscribe at any time if you do change your mind without further ado let's hop right into it take a look at this t-mac card so t-mac is six foot eight 99 offense 97 defense 210 pounds comes with an 89 driving layup 93 pointer 95 driving 87 ball handle 92 perimeter defense very low steal that's not super important though compared to the perimeter defense and i'm glad they put the perimeter high also 94 speed suitable ball and acceleration and 92 lateral quickness so he still should be really good on the defensive end even with the low steel he should still move his feet very well then you look at his badges he comes with hall of fame catch and shoot ankle breaker clamps pogo stick contact finisher showtime slither finish downhill handles for days quick first step tight handles dead eye flexible release range extender steady shooter which is blinders on next gen tireless shooter and volume shooter this card has 27 hall of fame badges including some of the best hall of fame badges in the game like range extender flexible release quick first step handles today is showtime badges like that clamps ankle breaker that are just set him apart i feel like from very many other diamonds in the game he's so good and he also has 18 gold badges including diamond pickpocket pick dodger heart crusher interceptor intimidator stop and go unpluckable slippery off ball a lot of super super crucial badges on this card badges to add to him do include like a badge like a rim protector would be really good probably a, a post move lockdown or rebound chaser bailout green machine hot zone hunter those four or five badges would be the ones that i would really look to add to this card but for a diamond he comes unbelievably complete complete for 10,000 mt you're not going to find a better option in the game so Without further ado, let's hop into freestyle, see what his animations are all about. Hopping into freestyle, T-Mac. The first thing I want to point out is he does have the Pro 1 size up like his Opal had. He doesn't have the Curry slide, which definitely hurts him just a little bit. But the thing is, he's so big in his player model, and for all so cheap, he's going to move very similar to like Kevin Durant, who also can't Curry slide. Um, he's got, obviously, the Tracy McGrady release. It's one of the smoother, easier to green releases in the game. Um... His behind the back is the pro behind the back. You can always use the burst as well to get up the court. Very, very solid. Not great dribble six, but with a card like T-Mac, I don't think it matters that much. He's going to be so knocked down from three-point range. And his ability to create his own shot off the burst and his just sheer athleticism. Like, I mean, look right there, spin dunking and everything. He's going to be so, so good at both ends of the court, in all honesty, because of how big and long he is. As well as his ability to just move. T-Mac just has the ability to move so quickly compared to a lot of other cards in the game he moves faster than his speed says he just got this really smooth out of for whatever reason he moves so smoothly t-mac cards are just so much fun to use in this game i'm really excited to use this card i think for for like 9,000 of t is just unbelievable that we get they were getting cards that are this good and have this much value at this point in the year so without further ado let's hop into triple threat see what he can do all right, hopping into this triple threat game, I'm just excited to use this Tracy McGrady card because I really think he's basically, he's very similar to the Galaxy Opal Tracy McGrady. I'll actually compare them uh, at the end of this video, but he has more Hall of Fame badges and I think better badges overall than the uh, Galaxy Opal card or Tracy McGrady, which I think is just super interesting and not something that you're going to find very often at any point really in any 2Ks. Like it's very rare that a lower tier card of a player is arguably better in even one way than the um than the higher tier version of card like the fact that we can get a diamond tracy mcgrady who has all the major badges that he has and all that for less than 10,000 mt is a bit crazy to me i think because he's basically it's basically like buying a 100 plus k card for 10,000 mt because they juiced him up so much in the badges and his stats obviously are super high in the ones that matter while they took away more so in badges that don't matter as much but that being said i think i've smacked two whites already like we got a green something come on I don't know why I jumped. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Pass fake. Reset. Get the ball back to T-Mac. Pull up. Wide open. I have got to green, bro. His release is one of the best releases in the game. This trade break race is amazing. I don't know why I'm not green. Good D, though. Cuts off the baseline. Yep. Or cuts off the middle. That's fine. That's fine. Danny Ferry's just got a really quick jump. We'll live. I just got a green. 
you can't be ha taking a release like this that I shoot with every day with the Marta Rosen and, and just smoking it like that. There we go, green bean. Let's go, T Mac. He's just gonna try to cook me with Danny Fair. That's fine. You can have it too as well. That's terrible. What? He shot that? What are we doing? I don't know about that shot. Wide open, T Mac. We got to green with you, man. How flexible though. He will hit a lot of whites, even though he didn't hit that one. Wide open again. Pull up again. Miss again. Nah, we'll share the wealth. Good shot, Magic. That's bad. Good D, T Mac. Yes, sir. See, that's what I'm talking about. He's super long. He gives you the, the extra element, green bean as well. He gives you that extra element that most shooting guards of the game don't give you. Let's hop into a second game, keep dominating. Hopping into the second TTO game. This is not a hard matchup, I will not lie. Going up against three uh, Mavericks players. I think this guy's trying to finish the challenge for Luka Doncic, but unfortunately, I gotta get my gameplay, man. So I'm gonna have to take that W from you, I'm sorry. T-Mac wide open. The thing is, his release is so smooth and so good. He can get it, and he's so tall as well and so long. He just gets it off over people as well, which really helps him, I think. Good steal by A Dizzle there. Yes, sir. I could have shot that. We're going to slash the rim instead. And T Mac is going to put it down on him. T Mac just gets those animations that, like, cards don't get. I'm s If his Dark Matter didn't get more load ups, I feel like I would use him. I think he'd be the best shooting guard in the game, but he just doesn't get. He gets load ups for whatever reason, um, which is annoying. But for 10,000 MT, like, it, it doesn't really matter that much because he gives you so much more on the court. Good D. There's no way that goes in. Good board. Yes, sir. Board me. Chill. Yep. Come here. Come here. Reset. Yep. Wide open. Green me. Let's go. Good shot. I got to green that, but we'll take it. Oh, AD almost got to that one, too. AD is that dude. I promise you, AD Disney is the best center in the game right now. Slashing the rim again. Contact jam me again. He got slashing takeover as well. That's going to be fun. Slashing takeover is always fun. I think sharp take sharp shooting takeover is the best takeover in the game personally. But having slashing takeover is just fun to use. Because we just go to the rim. We're going to put it down. Hey, East Bay. Oh, my. He tried it. That's fine. I think our opponent may have left the game. But give me a spin dunk. <laughs> hey, look at T-Mac. Look at him moving. Y'all see diamond cards moving like this? Cause I, cause I don't. So our opponent basically did just stop trying on defense entirely for like the second half of this game. So I didn't show much of that, but T-Mac did finish 22 points aboard, nine to 13, four, six and three. He absolutely dominated. We'll hop into one more game, see if we can potentially match up against a slightly better opponent and keep on taking control of the game with T-Mac. Hopping into this third game, we just can't match up against very good teams today. This guy's team isn't terrible, but like, I mean, he's got Ruby Russell Westbrook on T-Mac. You know what? I can't complain. It's, it's, it's good content. We get to go off with T-Mac. Don't have to struggle too much. I would have liked to play against a slightly better defensive player and like a, a better, like maybe Dark Matter card, for example. One of the top shooting guards in the game. That'd be cool. Just to show how good this T-Mac is. But you know what? It is what it is. I ain't going to complain about opportunities to get free Showtime slams all game. That's going to do it for the third game. Let's hop back in the main menu and review this card. Honestly, to review this Tracy McGrady card, he is super, super good. He is so, so close to the Opal. In fact, I'm going to compare him to the Opal. Let's see. So, Tracy McGrady, compared to his Opal, he has a slightly lower three. It doesn't matter with a coach boost. Driving dunk, 95 is the threshold for the top contact dunk, so it doesn't matter anyway. Ball handle, as long as it's an 86, it's good. doesn't matter. Lower passing stats, eh, not it's crucial. Lower steal, eh. I mean, it's not that important. He actually has a higher interior defense as well, which is really nice. That steel, I just don't think steel rating is all that important. Obviously, the Opal T-Mac does have a lot higher steel rating, but you don't really get a lot of steals that aren't bump steals. You do get some, but not a ton. I don't think that's a huge disadvantage for him. He's a little bit slower, which, yeah, you'd prefer it to be a little bit slower, but he also has better strength. So on the interior, he's going to be better as a defender with a higher strength, higher interior defense. And then slightly lower lateral quickness. Again, I don't think it's super crucial, the difference between 95 and 92. So statistically, they're very, very close. And then, on badges, this T-Mac actually has three more Hall of Fame badges based than uh, the other T-Mac. The Opal only comes with 24 base Hall of Fame badges. The Dark Matter, or not the Dark Matter, the Diamond, I'm sorry, comes with 27. And uh, the Dark Matter, or no, I'm sorry, the Diamond also has like Diamond or uh, Hall of Fame handles for days. He's got a couple extra Hall of Fame shooting badges, Hall of Fame Steady Shooter, which the jury's out if that's a good badge or not on current gen, but on next gen Hall of Fame badges is super, super nice. Obviously, the gold has the, the Opal has a little bit more badges, gold badges, but I think it is so close between the Opal and the Diamond. And right now, let me just go check right now. The Opal T Mac is going for. 
He's a buy now, but he looks like he's about 80,000 MT, 70,000 MT. You can get a Diamond Tracy McGrady, who is arguably as good or even in some ways better than the Opal for 10,000 MT, less than 10,000 MT. I think that's crazy. If you like Tracy McGrady, because I know people love using Tracy McGrady in 2K, the fact that you can get this card for so cheap is such a such is such an amazing value and really, really cool that I think 2K did this. Um, because he, this card is really, really good. He can compete against the top shooting guards in the game. If he had the Curry slide, he'd basically be close to as good as the Dark Matter. So I'm not mad that he doesn't have that. I think this card is super, super complete. For a diamond, he is so good. If you need a shooting guard, I 100% recommend plugging this card into your lineup. But that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video, what you think of this Tracy McGrady card. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to help us get to that 1,500 subscriber mark on the channel. Really appreciate all the recent support. We'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. Appreciate y'all. Peace.